Merry Vlogmas. What's up, OCC gang? Merry Vlogmas. I'm back in Walgreens. I know y'all are probably wondering what I'm doing back in Walgreens for Vlogmas Day 5, but there's a gift card deal and I want to show y'all this deal. So this wasn't my plan. I had planned to go to Hobby Lobby because I needed to get some, um, where are there gift cards in this store, Tiffany? This is not my usual Walgreens and y'all can probably tell that because it's quiet. There's some gift cards it right here. very quiet. But I wanted to go to like the main gift card display. I think it's all the way down at the end of the aisle. I can go check. It's right here, I oh. think. I can kind of see something right here. But yeah, it's right here. Okay, yeah, so there's a gift card deal I want to show you. I don't think, I don't see a sign up here. Do y'all see a sign on here? Mm -hmm. No, I don't see a sign on here. At the other store, there was a sign. So I guess I'll have to pull it up in the ad. But yeah, I'm back at Walgreens because they have a pretty good um, gift card deal last week. Tiffany, I don't know if you saw this or not, but last week I did a deal, a gift card deal with Ace Hardware gift cards. Y'all remember that? Oh, yeah. Deja you, did it. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I was with Deja when she did it, but I wasn't right, paying attention. Deja did do it. Okay, so there was a good gift card deal last week. That one is over, but there's a new one this week, and I want to show y'all, but there's no sign, so let me just pull it up in the app. Boom. Okay, here it is. I didn't know there was a new right one. Right here. Yeah, there's a new one. Check this out. Free $10, free $10 Walgreens gift card. Um, with the purchase of any two Burlington, Delta Airlines, Domino's, H&M, Red Robin, or Wayfair gift cards. So if you purchase two of any of those gift cards, you get a free $10 Walgreens gift card. And this deal runs from Monday, what's today, Monday the 5th, mm -hmm. all the way until Saturday. Saturday's the last day to do this deal. So from the 5th till the weekend. And um, yeah, new deals always start over on Sunday. I know somebody was trying to do the ACE deal and they were like, why can't I do it? It's because the deals start over on Sunday. Saturday is always the last time to do the deal. Um, this deal, I came in to do it with, um, I wanted to do Domino's gift cards because they have the least value, like right here. Oh. Um, I'm seeing Wayfair has like $20 value. That's the smallest. So if you get two Wayfair gift cards, that's $40. And then you get $10 in a Walgreens gift card. Um, right here, what else was it? H&M was included. You could get two $15 H&M cards. Look, Target. Is that Target or this Target? They're this not Target included. Said, it's not? Did you not? Tiffany. Yeah. I'm Did never. You, I'm, you never paying attention. attention. No. Burlington, Delta Airlines, Domino's, H and M, Red Robin, or Wayfair. Okay. Just those. Not Target. You just love Target. This you just want it to <laughs> yeah. manifest. Target being included. <laughs> not gonna work. H and M is included though. You could get two fifteen dollars H and M gift cards that comes out to thirty dollars. The food ones are. And then you get the food one. The food ones. <laughs> You know, I can't lie, food ones are kind of like motivating, but it's Christmas time, so getting oh, yeah. gifts for people, H&M, two of those, that's $30, you get a $10 um, Walgreens gift card for yourself to do your shopping with, so that's kind of a win. Where's the Taco Bell, since Tiffany says the food ones are better? Um, oh, it looks like the food ones are over here. Let's okay, see. so this is all the food over here, and what were the food places? Um, Red, Mar Robin, Red Robin and... Domino's. Okay, hold on, yeah, Domino's, Red Robin, um... Wait, I don't see Taco Bell on here. Oh, that was last week. Was it? I remember you saying something about Taco Bell. Why am I week. saying Taco Bell? Why do I keep saying Taco Bell? Deja what always says Taco Bell. Oh, like, wait, randomly. no, there's got to be a reason I'm thinking Taco Bell. Um, was that last time? No, that I think that was Dollar General. Oh, Dollar Somebody's General. Somebody's having a gift card deal and Taco Bell is it. Okay. It could have been Dollar General. I'll let y'all know. But anyway, Domino's is over here down at the bottom. $15 value. I don't know why in the world I kept thinking Taco Bell. But <laughs> Domino's is right here. I'm getting on you for talking about Target and I'm over here talking about Taco Bell. Like, what I'm going to look on the group and see um, what's on there. So $15 for the Domino's gift cards. I'm definitely going to get two of those. Yeah. That's $30 worth. And I can just sit them on my Domino's account for any time I want pizza. So if I get two of these for $15 each, that's $30 worth of cards right here, 30 bucks worth. Um, and then I'll just get a free $10 Walgreens gift card. Now with the Walgreens cards, you have to actually pick one up yourself. I like to get the plain ones. Like this is plain right here. You have to pick it up yourself and take it to the register. Okay, so I'm going to get two of these. I'm gonna tell my cashier, put 15 on this, 15 on this, 10 on this. This one should be free. They're going to load it with $10, but it should still be free. So I'm going to say, please put 15 on this one. Please put 15 on this one. 
please put ten dollars on this one oh, wow. so my total should still be just thirty dollars for all three so that's a good deal when you think about yeah. it because i'm gonna give these as gifts um i hope he's not watching but probably to my nephew as a gift for these two or i might do it again and put them on my domino's account but i'm not really eating bread right now so i don't know if they make anything that's like not bready do they Mm -mm. Papa John's like does. Pasta. Papa John's does. Oh, they yeah. make the um I don't know if y'all know, but Papa John's makes like a bake. It's like um cheese and meat. And it's all like baked with no crust. It's basically like a pizza with no crust. It's got the marinara, it's got everything with no oh. crust. So if you're doing keto or low carb, I'm doing low carb, not necessarily keto, I'm just staying away from bread. Um if you're doing that, Papa John's makes that. I forget what it's called, but I get it all the time. It's really good. Um I don't know if Domino's has anything like that though. Do y'all watch the um morning news with joe and savannah you know what i'm talking about oh yeah 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 they made me so mad the other day this is random but joe and savannah made me so mad you know what i'm about to say yeah you know yeah i'm what not gonna about, say what anything. am i about to say it was a review they said something about the uh whatever you're talking about the, the baked thing john's. they were saying like it was the day the papa john's um crustless pizza came out and they were like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard, but <laughs> Papa John's is coming out with a crustless pizza. Who would even eat this? It makes no sense. Oh, it's Papa called Papa Bowls. Papa Bowls. I was like, bro, like, that's so rude. Like, first of all, it's somebody's business. If you don't like it, like, no need to bash it on national news. And then, like, two, um, they were like, I was surprised because I typically like Joe and Savannah, but this not. looks good though. You have a picture of it? It just looks okay. Like... Y'all gotta see this. Y'all gotta see this. Blow it up so they can really see. Can they, they get are any really bigger? Good. It's just like okay. all the toppings that you would get on a pizza, but without the crust. And they put it in that little bowl. So pop a bowl. I liked it. I get them all the time. And Joe and Savannah, like when it came out, they thought they were like um, dissing it. But it made me just order one. <laughs> and so every time I eat it, I think about them and like, in your face, Joe and Savannah. <laughs> I even stopped watching them as much because it was just a really mean and ignorant thing to say. Like, who would eat this? Like, it defeats the purpose. If you're going to have Papa John's and you're not going to have the crust, what's the point? And they were like, oh, it's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Anyway, next <laughs> on the news, I was like, oh. <gasps> It hurt my feelings because a lot of people can't have bread. What it didn't diabetics? hurt mine because I'm not eating like that. <laughs> Whatever, Tiffany. What about diabetics or people who are doing keto? There's a ton of people who I would prefer nice pizza with no crust. Yeah, exactly. Know. Everybody can order. Anyways, y'all. I don't know if Domino's is doing that, so I'm not going to do the deal for myself until I figure it out. But I'm, I think I'm going to do this for my nephew and give him the two $15 gift cards at Christmas time. It. And yeah, he likes to eat. Yeah. So, <laughs> and I'll keep the $10 for myself. So if you're thinking about gifts and stuff, win-win. So when you get yeah. to the register, just ask your cashier to put $15 on each of your Domino's and then to put just $10 on your Walgreens card. And don't forget to put in your phone number because it is a promotion, so you do have to actually um, use your Walgreens account for it to work. Mm -hmm. So I just paid, and I kind of wanted to show you guys my receipt before I actually walk out of the store. So of course, let's get a little bit closer. Just a little bit closer so you can see. Okay, y'all can probably see now. So of course, I got the two $15 Domino's cards. You can see 15, 15, and then you can see the Walgreens card. After I put in my phone number and she hit the button, it came down to zero. So I paid $30. I still have three gift cards. So I have, you know, um, $40 worth of gift cards. Yeah, I have $40 worth of gift cards and I only paid 30. This is like really an easy deal. I think I might run this a couple more times. I don't know. I might do this again because once I see it on the receipt, like once I see zero dollars for a ten dollar gift card, it just feels like, you know what I mean? Like you should do it again. I don't know. It could just be me. But once I see that zero on there, I don't know. I feel like doing it again. I don't know. Their carts are so little. I'm in Hobby Lobby. Did I tell y'all I'm going to Hobby Lobby? I'm in Hobby Lobby. Their carts are so small. I always wonder, like, they make me feel like a giant. I am kind of tall, but I'm not that tall. Like Hobby Lobby and Ross have the smallest carts. And somewhere else too. A lot of places have really, these are so cute y'all, look. Look at these tumblers, they're so cute. I like the black one. I love that matte black, that is cute. Yes. I don't know if I would get it because when I'm using tumblers, I like to feel like happy. And I don't know if the black would make me feel happy, but I love the way it looks, you know, for sure. It's so hard to find stuff in my color scheme because I change my color scheme. Like, normally, I would go for 
these easy just like that but I'm not doing silver this year I tried to switch it in the color I promise y'all as soon as I get it looking decent I will take y'all home with me to see how everything looks but um yeah because I want y'all to see my color scheme but it is so odd that it's not easy to find stuff that makes me feel like it's gonna match because I tried something different this year with the colors and it just felt really warm to me and it's something that I wanted to do, but at the same time, it's making it more difficult for me to actually find stuff that I love. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be harder than I thought. It's gonna be harder than I thought. All the red and the silver and that really shiny gold, it doesn't really match. So I need a deeper, darker gold. That's, that's what I'm really looking for. I'm really loving this. Y'all gotta see it. I like this. How much is this? I'm looking at the price. $69, but it's 60% off. I think I might do it. It's 60% off. I like it. I just like it. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I just really like it. I'm gonna get it. The problem is, I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna put it in this little cart. These carts, oh my gosh, they're so small. Like, what can they hold? If I get this, what else can I possibly fit up in here? Like for a store that sells really giant things, it's so weird that the carts are so small. I think that every time, like I wish I could get some of this gold stuff right here. I really do, but it's like, most of it is a little bit harsher than my gold. Mine is more, like even if you look at the picture, it's more dull. You see that? And it's just, you can see some of the orange in there. The gold that I have is more, is leaning towards more orange. I don't know if y'all can see that on camera. The camera might not show it like completely, but this gold up here is just a lot more shiny than I would like. But after looking around the store, I might have to settle with it because that's really all they have. And I just, I've been to so many stores, y'all. You would not believe. Okay, so I've been to Michael's. I've shopped on Wayfair. I've looked everywhere. And I see, I saw some really nice stuff, but none of it, I mean, either it wouldn't ship in time, because Wayfair has some really nice stuff, but either it wouldn't ship in time for me to really enjoy it. Nobody wants to wait like two weeks for something to ship, and then it gets here a week before Christmas. Um, or it just, was, it cost way too much, or it just really didn't fit what I was looking for. So Hobby Lobby has never really failed me in terms of Christmas stuff. But y'all, their Christmas stuff went fast. Last time I was here, all of these rows were Christmas. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Did they sell out of Christmas like that? Is this for real? So what I looked at just a second ago is all they have. <sighs> this is about to be hard, y'all. This is about to be hard. I really thought I was going to come in Hobby Lobby and they were going to have everything I needed. I'm not really finding very much. And it's not even just like about my theme. It's like the shelves are really empty. I'm kind of disappointed because I'm thinking like for 90% um, off, there is not going to be a lot left. I don't know how, you, how your stores are, but you guys should probably go and check your store because this is so cute. This is cute. You should probably check your store. They got a gingerbread. Oh, all of them are gingerbread. This one is cute too. There's a lot over here. Look at this little soap dispenser. I cannot. This stuff is so adorable. What is this? What is this? It says it lights up. Hell. Well, I don't know. But anyway, um, this stuff is so adorable. But anyway, yeah, stuff is selling out. A lot of the shelves are kind of empty. And it didn't leave, like, much variety. I don't even know where else I'm going to go. Last stop will be Home Goods. I don't know if I'll go tonight. If I leave here really quickly, maybe I can go to Home Goods. So let me just leave. Y'all, I went to Home Goods. I cannot believe that I forgot to vlog in Home Goods. And they actually have some good stuff that matched my color scheme. I'm so mad at myself for not showing y'all, but now I'm going to this store called This and That. I think it's what it's called This or That, This and That. Y'all, I was looking straight at the sign and I can't remember what it said. But I only come to this store during the holidays because they always have, like, you know, little decor pieces. Like over here there's some stuff. They always have like a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I guess that's why the name is what it is. But I just came in here to see if there's anything that I might have missed at Home Goods. So I'm just gonna look around and see if there's anything. Oh, this is perfect for me to show you the colors. These are kind of the colors I'm going with. Like how this deep color is, it's like a bronze. 
gold is giving more bronze than just like straight up gold that's more like what i'm trying to do so if we see some stuff like that then we are on the right track that's what i'm looking for so oh, let me hurry up because it is getting late y'all it is getting late but i'm hoping that this store has at least some of what i'm looking for oh. it's just so hard to find those colors i know it's not typical but it's what i like it's really what i like this year for some reason all that warmth it was just making me feel real cozy i'm not seeing that that much up in here so i don't know y'all i don't know if i'm seeing some oh i'm in bed bath and beyond i don't know why i keep forgetting to like vlog my weight in the, does that say 70 percent off over there i think that sign says 70 percent off does it i'm trying to see from here oh 70 percent off of what bath rugs how did I get all the way over here? I'm so easily distracted. I was trying to tell y'all about something I just found that blew my mind. Okay, let me start over because I'm all over the place because when there's a sale, I don't know what to do. Okay, so first of all, I'm in Bed Bath & Beyond. Second of all, those bath rugs are 70% off and I'm gonna have to look at that later. But what I was excited about, let me hurry up and tell y'all this before somebody comes over here and takes them. I don't know if I'm reading this right because I just started panicking okay but basically i came over to these little tree situations right here like these two and i guess they're online returns because they have that online return sticker and this one is kind of busted on the side like on the bottom it's kind of heavy but on the bottom hold on let me try and turn it around it's got like a little hole can y'all see this i'm not really worried about that because that could be easily patched up and i just won't have that side facing anything but Y'all, I looked at the tag on this one. Please tell me if I'm reading this right. What I see is that it says original retail $125 and reduced retail $24.99. Is that what y'all are seeing? Like, no missing parts. Um, what is other lights? So the lights on this one don't work. Is that it? To come from $125 to $24? Girl, I put my own lights on here shoot hold on is that all the lights don't work so how much is the one with the little hole like i'm not really into getting like imperfect stuff from the store because we get clearance all the time but i'm searching for stuff and i'm not finding what i'm looking for so i mean if i can get these on sale what about this one what's the reduced on this 24 dollars. this one too so oh hold on what's the what's the problem with this one they didn't check off what's wrong with this one I mean for $24 do y'all think I'm selling myself short because these actually look really nice I think $24 is a good price with or without the lights I mean they still look good I like them um, plus I might even just sit them outside I just like them I don't know I kind of want to get these I need to think about it but yeah I don't know y'all let me know what y'all think but i don't think they're gonna be here for long because they were 125 i mean the quality they feel really good they don't feel like the cheaper ones that i saw at other stores um i saw some just as tall at other stores but they were a lot cheaper like the quality i don't know y'all i literally went live on instagram to ask everybody if i should get it and the conversation was crazy like you have to watch that video i'll put a link in the description box below so you can go to my instagram page and watch the whole thing because it was crazy i was on live with my subscribers and um some of y'all actually joined me live on the instagram chat um that was interesting the last person i was talking to on the chat like at first i was talking to amber but then i was talking to crystal who actually well i'll let y'all watch it and see but yeah so going live with subscribers helps me make my decision and i'm not getting it because crystal made a good point oh my gosh maybe i will look when i see it up there for full price for 125 y'all see it oh my gosh it's making me want to change my mind because once i'm looking at it for full price and the other ones around the corner are 24. i'm confused i'm going home this thing has really confused me because i really want to get it but both of the ladies on my instagram made really good points 
and I just feel like it's something I need to think about but I'm almost scared that if I come tomorrow in the morning they won't be here it's a steal and half of y'all might come and try and get them anyway <laughs> so yesterday the quest for Christmas stuff it didn't go like bad but it just didn't go where I wanted it to go so now I'm actually at Home Depot just kind of looking for I don't really know what I'm looking for I'm just looking for something I haven't found I don't really see too much that I'm actually interested in like there's slim pickings everywhere if you did if you did your Christmas planning early then good for you because if you're starting late like me and trying to change themes and colors then it is not oh my gosh it's not gonna be easy I've been to so many places and I'm like the shopping person and most stores I know they have a good variety of stuff but they don't have like diversity in the um, colors there's a lot of red there's a lot of silver there's not a lot of like gold in the stuff that I'm looking for so I have no clue what I'm doing next because Home Depot they don't even have a lot over here yeah this this probably ain't it they have some cute blow-ups but I was looking more for like an activity scene something different I'm not seeing that either and a lot of this is I, I'm not saying this in a way like to say it like in a bad way but a lot of this is like a little childish so you know like if you have kids like this would be great for kids in the yard they would be super excited but I was looking for some more mature um stuff so Target better have something Home Depot had nothing and Target is Target so there's gonna be something now if it's something that I actually like that is another story oh my gosh they have like a mixture of toys and um, decor and wrapping supplies, but they have some stuff. So I'm actually kind of happy. At least there's a lot more here in Target than there has been at most other stores. Believe it or not, I didn't give Walmart a good go. Like I went to Walmart, but I wasn't looking for this. So I need to actually go back to Walmart, but I'm gonna give Target a really good look to see if I can find what I'm looking for. And again, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for, but I will know it when I see it. I will know it when I see it. They have some cute stuff. Y'all gotta see some of this. Look at this. So cute. They have some real cute stuff. There is so much. And y'all might not really think it's a lot, but compared to everywhere else I've been, this is like the most I'm seeing. So it's a lot to me. I like these. But I just bought some that I liked more from Bed Bath & Beyond, so what y'all think? What y'all think about these? Yeah. They look kind of cute. I don't know. Oh, we need to keep looking. I'm just not seeing it. But this is only one aisle, so let's move on. I'm sure we keep looking. I think half the problem is I don't know what I'm looking for. I think that's half the problem. If I knew what I was looking for. Okay. Okay. Okay, bulbs. This pack of bulbs right here is giving everything I'm looking for. Right here. When I tell y'all I can't describe the colors, it's this. It's this. It's melanin. Skin tones. Earth tones. All of that. That look. That vibe. That's what I'm feeling. Warmth. That's what I want to do. I'm going to get these, y'all. I don't have a cart. What in the world, Erica? I came all the way up in here without a cart. Oh my gosh. But yes, I'm seeing what I like. Y'all look at these bulbs, they're so pretty. Look at all these colors. I love that. I would always come in and this was me all day. Like this is what, I always get stuff like this. This would be it. But like, I would always look at stuff like these or even like the color that I'm doing this year. And I'd be like, who, who does a tree like this? Like who does a non-traditional color? Cause I will always be stuck on silver. But now this year that I'm doing something that's non-traditional, I see it, I get it. I get it. I love these. This is it. What's the difference between y'all? What's the difference between these and the other ones? There's 50 in here. Is it the colors? I mean, what, what's up? There's 42 in here, but what's the difference? Handcrafted glass, and these are shatter resistant. Oh, okay. I might go with the shatter resistant because I'm clumsy. I might drop them. What about the colors? Do y'all think there's a big difference in the colors? I don't 
really don't. I don't know. Do the other ones look more grand? Do the other ones look more grand? Can y'all see? I need to put them together because it's got to make sense. Is there a difference? These are 15. Those are 25. There's more in here, but I really, I don't know if I'm concerned about it having more or just looking good. I can't, I really can't tell the difference. I mean, those, those do look more grand in a way, but I'm kind of feeling the shatter resistant just knowing myself I'm gonna drop something. I could put a, um, a blanket down or something so that if I drop them, they won't break. Cause I do like those better. I just, I'm going with these because of the shatter resistant part. Are there more color variety in here? Is that one, two, three different colors right there? Four, five, six different colors. There's six different colors, I believe. If I'm counting correctly. The other one has one, two, three. three different, I, li I just like this one more. So I'm going to the register, but I made sure that I came this way because I wanted to look at the home decor. Um, I know I need to get out of here, but I at least said, I was like, if I at least just come this way and kind of like just pass it by, there's no harm in that. Like if I just pass by the home decor, y'all look, it's always so nice. They always, that's, I love this about Target. Like every time you come to the home decor, it's always really, really nice. They always have so much stuff. Um, it just looks so good. And I love Joanna Gaines. Like she's just so like sweet. Everything about her that I know. I mean, it's not like I know her for real, but everything about her on TV, she just looks so nice. So I always love looking at her like Magnolia table collection because it's always so nice. And plus when it goes down to 90% off, I always get it all. I don't buy it at full price, but I like to look at it when it's full price. And then when it starts to go down to like 70% off or 90% off, yes, I wake up real early and come and get everything they have, everything that's left. So I have so much of the um, Threshold and Magnolia table stuff. I love looking at it when I come up in here. Okay, I guess it's time to go. But I am taking this other detour because this section, see, look at this. Look at these cute little Christmas trees. Y'all look on the shelf. Y'all gotta see this, hold on. Oh my goodness, so adorable. Look at, look at the ones on the other side. These are really nice. And y'all see them? This big old sign is in the way. Y'all see these? So cute. I don't know what I would do with them, but they are so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Oh, look at this little nutcracker. I love the little nutcrackers. They look so scary, but yet so like, uh, so Christmas time. Does his little hand move? Does it open the mouth? See y'all, I can't even play with it because I got all these bulbs in my hand. I'm struggling out here. Um, oh, I love these pillows. My color scheme is kind of like this. You see how, so you see how it kind of, it does something. You see that a little bit? At least a little. Y'all can kind of see, right? I love that. And these throws. This would be perfect, but I already bought my throws, but these would, these would really go. Okay. I don't know how I got on the aisle. I was supposed to be taking a detour. Y'all, we gotta stop one more time. Y'all look, oh, there's just some random carts in here. I don't see anybody. So, I'm just gonna sit there for a second, just in case somebody does come back for their cart. But y'all, look at these heated throws on sale for $21. Heated throws, only $21. That's a pretty good sale. Hold on. Let me, um, I'm about to take a picture for my, um, Telegram group. Oh, it's thick too. Look how big this box is. I thought it was going to be a small little box because it's only $21. Y'all know heated throws are pretty expensive. Let me try and get this little picture. Try not to get my feet in the picture. Hold on. Try not to get my bag in the picture. Oh, try not to get my feet and my bag big old purse hold on telegram y'all don't know all the stuff i do for y'all hold on did i get it kind of that's decent right that's a decent picture i'm gonna post that on my telegram page so they can know that these are 21 dollars so they won't miss out i was about to walk away without my stuff 
<laughs> I forgot I set this down. I was like, I feel lighter for some reason. Okay, now we're leaving. We might stop by Starbucks, but we're leaving. You know what, y'all? I got a gift card. I don't even know if anything is on here, but I'm about to ask. I guess we'll find out together. I want to see. I don't know if anything is on them because I know I always like do the gift card deals at Target and then I try to make sure that I save them for around the holidays so I can just start redeeming them. But one of them is scratched off on the back a little bit. So that one maybe it's used already. The other one is not scratched at all. So at this point, I think it's just a matter of finding out if they actually have anything on them. Good, thank you. Just make a selection on the screen for me, please. It took off 268. Oh great, one of them took off 268, y'all. So that the one that took off 268 was the one that was already scratched, so at least it had something left. And so the second one. Oh my gosh, the second one took off $10. They get 1957. Yes, thank you. All right, I'm leaving these people's store. I did not even stop at Starbucks. I don't know why lately I just have not been going to Starbucks and Target. I didn't have a bad experience. I just think there was one experience I had when I said no caramel and they gave me caramel. And since I'm not doing sugar, it was kind of like, bruh. Like it was a moment and I think I took that personally. And I don't know, I think I just didn't go back to a Starbucks inside any Target, but it was just one. I didn't have a bad experience. They always make really good drinks. It was just one, one thing. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to Starbucks down the street because I don't know. I'm like that. If something, if you mess up something for me one time, like it's, it's, it takes a long time before you can gain my trust back. Like, I don't know. Even with food places, for real. Have y'all ever been to Old Time Pottery? Me neither, but we are going up in here. Like, I don't remember coming here, but part of me feels like I have been here. Oh my gosh, guys, it's giving. Gosh, this might be what I need. Oh my gosh, there is so much Christmas in here. This is what I'm talking about. I needed aisles and aisles of like Christmas goodness, and this might be it. Okay, so I'm officially happy because I officially feel like. Yes, and I'm kind of glad I didn't get that tree because these look so much better. Look, these look so much better. Oh, this one is so tall and pretty. How much are these? 99? I don't know. I would rather pay 99 for this than even 24 for the uh, tree with the hole in it. I'm just saying, some of y'all were probably right. I mean, the tree with the hole was a good bargain, but these are taller, nicer, and they don't have a hole in them. Okay, so now it is officially time to look around at these decorations. Let's see what they got. They have so much stuff in here. I love these Christmas mats, y'all. There are so many. Um, there's just a lot. So many different ones. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to talk to y'all, but I'm trying to look at the same time. Look at these ornaments. Y'all see these? Look at this one. That is the cutest. Look at the little rainbow. These are some, a cupcake. This is not even my thing, but this is so cute. I can't, that is too cute. I cannot, it's beautiful. Now I need to see if I can find some of these like more blingy little ornaments with my theme because I'm loving them. Oh my gosh. Look how adorable. I can't y'all. I need to get, I don't know. I love this little Christmas tree. Everything makes you like, everything looks like food or something. I love these. Oh my gosh. I don't really love the shape, but just the overall bling. So cute. I guess these are like supposed to be the golder ones, like the more golden, like over here. I guess it's supposed to be more golden. This is cute. This is kind of cute. I like that one. I'm gonna keep looking around. The color that I want is right here. This is the kind of color I'm looking for, kind of. But that's the only thing they have in that color. I'm gonna keep looking though. I'm sure I'll find something in here. Oh my gosh, y'all, these are so cute. Look at these. The color is almost what I'm looking for, but it's a little bit too shiny. But y'all, I mean, look at the detail on the ornaments. Did I make a mistake with Target? These are so cute. Look how big these are. This is like as big as my hand. Bigger. 
Y'all look at this one. <gasps> look on the other side, they're bigger than that. You can't really tell until I pick it up. Look how big this is. This is giving like baby pumpkin, right? This is huge. This is real huge, wow. This is the stuff I was talking about. This is 75% off, like all of this. 75% off and there is a large selection like in the front i saw a bunch of stuff in the front too and this is the kind of stuff i would consider getting for like next year so they have like a ton of stuff y'all okay so my battery died while i was in the store but i did get a couple things and i got um i don't want to say his name but i got this golden doodle he don't know that part he don't know that so i got this golden doodle a toy it's so cute but he where he where did he go okay let me show y'all real let me see if i can show y'all real quick it's like two big jumbo donuts. But these people got this little tie right here and I can't break it apart. I wanna give him one now and one later. Why? So he will love me more. He'll love me now when I give him one and then later he will love me again. Okay, so I'm trying to take it apart but all I have is keys. All I have are keys so I'm trying to take it apart with keys but every time I try with the keys it makes a noise and he gets suspicious. So hold on. I'm gonna try one more time. Like I'm trying. Ooh, no, no, no. Go away! I don't have anything. <laughs> I don't have anything. I don't have anything. Go away! <laughs> Move your little face. <laughs> I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. Go, bye bye, bye bye. <laughs> I don't have anything. I'm just gonna give it to him. Should I just give it to him like it is? <laughs> I feel bad. Hold on. I feel bad. I don't want him to get his head stuck in the seatbelt. I feel bad for it. Like, I'm trying to, like, take it apart with the keys. <coughs> I'm trying to take it apart with the keys. This is this my last try. If it don't come apart with the keys this time, because I don't have any scissors in the car. Back in the day when we used to clip coupons like crazy, I used to always have scissors. I didn't go anywhere without my scissors. I might actually have some scissors in my bag. I don't know. I don't think so. If it don't come apart this time, I'm just giving it to him with, the, with everything on it. And... It's not working. I gotta let it go. Okay, Pico, you can have your treat, treat. I bought this for you. Do you love me? <laughs> Don't you love me, Pico? Say thank you. Say thank you. Say thank you, Pico. Be be grateful. I decided to come to Big Lots. I don't know why I'm laughing. I think it's because of Biko and that squeaky toy. Now I just can't stop smiling and laughing. But I decided to come to Big Lots to see what they have. Where's the Christmas decor? This is all toys. I see some Christmas stuff over there. Let's go over there. I think, actually it's everywhere. Cause I see some there and there. I'm gonna take a shortcut down one of these aisles. There's not a lot of people in here. That's good and bad. It's good for me, but it's probably bad for business. <laughs> oh, I love those little fireplaces. I always post those on my Telegram when they go on sale. I love how you can just put a fireplace anywhere now. You don't have to like pay an arm and a leg just to get a fireplace. This one is $6.99, but it is cute. That one is cute. I love that. Y'all see that? That is real cute. I like that one a lot. Wow, that's beautiful. For $6.99, y'all see this right here? It's kind of like plasticky. Well, not plastic, but you know, it's not marble, but it looks nice. It looks like marble. Um. Oh, over here, this is the Christmas section. Let's see what they have. Let's see what they have. Oh, Slim Pickens. I don't know if anybody, I say it. I was about to say, I don't know if anybody says that, but I say Slim Pickens. 
and there are slim pickings over here. Oh my gosh, this is bad. So I have literally been to every store that I can think of and there is not a lot to look at. Y'all see these shelves? Y'all see these shelves? Look at this. There is not a lot to look at. This is crazy. Wow, stores have really, like this season, wow. Maybe they didn't order a lot because the predictions of record inflation at an all time high, but I think one thing stores failed to understand is that people gonna spend for Christmas. They can be starving all year long, but one thing about me, and I know a lot of other people, when it comes to the holidays and being with friends and family or just getting the Christmas spirit and feeling that vibe, you'll splurge a little bit more. You might only have $10 to your name, but you're gonna spend a dollar to buy that little Christmas cookie that says Merry Christmas or has a snowman or a reindeer or a Santa on it just to make you smile. Like, people will spend a little bit extra for Christmas. I think stores underestimated that because most stores ordered less for fear of inflation and having too much, and now they don't have enough and they're gonna be missing money. It's the beginning of December and there's like nothing left anywhere. It's crazy. Oh, uh, Literally out of all the stores I've been to, Walmart has the most. I don't know why I didn't come here first. Like, I'm a, I'm a Walmart influencer. I don't, I don't even know why I didn't come to Walmart first. I just figured since I'm here all the time, if there was something, I would have seen it. But apparently I missed it because they have the most. Let me just show y'all. Hold on, look right here. This kind of took me by surprise because right here, I don't know if y'all can see this writing, but it says, Three and a half foot pre-lit two pack of porch Christmas trees. Can y'all see those two trees on this porch? Two trees, y'all, for $33.98. Now I know I was trying to get those bargain trees yesterday and I don't know if these trees are gonna look real skimpy, but the fact that it's only $33.98 and they're brand new in the box, I am definitely willing to take the risk. And then down here they have some more cute little stuff. I could work with this. I already ordered some of these off of Amazon. I'm not regretting it, but I'm kind of regretting it. Maybe I should have waited, maybe. But anyway, I'm definitely with that two pack of trees situation. And then this one right here, I kind of like this too, because it's only $39 and I kind of like the way this looks. Can y'all see that? Four foot pre-lit. It's a one pack, but I like it. It's giving lamp posts. Of course it is lamp posts, but I already have lights on my porch. That would be overkill. I don't know. I just I like it because it's lit you know but um they have so much up in here if y'all were to come in Walmart Walmart is your best bet um, because a lot of stores like like I showed you they're running out of stuff but Walmart still has a great deal of stuff left on the shelf so I'm gonna grab something out of here and take myself home finally before I leave Walmart I definitely want to mention this like Hobby Lobby is usually the place that you can go to and you can find some stuff that's at least kind of religious. But for me, I wasn't able to really find anything left in Hobby Lobby. It was empty. And this is worth pointing out if you are a Christian um, that Walmart has a lot of things that are religious because it was just hard for me to find anything. Like I was looking for nativity stuff. I think I told y'all that. Or anything. It didn't have to be big. Just something that says something like Oh Holy Night or peace on earth or noel anything um but they even have this sign that says let heaven and nature sing so anything like that we're used to hearing around the holidays i was having a hard time finding anything at all but walmart has stuff like this rejoice they have the lyrics to silent night right here um stuff that says just stuff like peace just anything that we um see like you know sleep in heavenly peace and look at this, the lyrics to Oh Come All Ye Faithful, right there. So I was so surprised to find all of this here at Walmart. That's crazy. I mean, I know they would have a lot. I knew they would have a lot, but just having a lot of religious things or seasonal things that actually um, display the lyrics of seasonal songs that we're really used to hearing around the holidays, I was so happy to be able to find anything. And um, I'm sure I'm gonna get something. I just have to kind of look at what Y'all, I'm about to call it a night, but look who is always greeting me. Bika. Hey, handsome. Hey, handsome. You gonna do my outro for me? You gonna tell them, OCC gang, I'm out? All right, tell them. Tell them. Guys, that's gonna be it for this video. He's not gonna do it. He's just trying to, he's trying to actually get out. He's, he's not gonna do it. He's actually trying to get out of the car. So come on. That's it for this video, OCC gang.
I'm out. Because you didn't do your part. There it goes. I'm out. We're out. We're out.